Hey you guys, today we're in my photography studio and we will be talking diode lasers. We will try to figure out which one is the best diode laser in 2023. Now I reviewed all of these lasers and the details onto my channel. I'll leave the links in the description below if you want to see full review of any of this. But today I wanted to be nitpicky. I wanted to be critical and I want to go to every single one of them and tell you the things that I like and don't like about it. And then hopefully by the end of this video, we can come to a conclusion of which one is the best one. Which one is the best one for you? Because whichever one is, not, is the best one for me might not be the best one for you. Now I'm going to talk about these lasers by brands. So I will start with longer, then move to Creality and so on. And when I will talk about these lasers, I'm not going to tell you the normal specs of the lasers that you can just go and read it yourself from the internet. I will tell you about the user experience. I'll tell you my honest opinion, what I thought about this laser. I will also touch a little bit on customer service because that is also a very important one when it comes to choosing a laser. Doesn't matter how good the laser is, eventually, sooner or later, you will have to reach customer service for something. And it's very important that um, customer service is good. So enough cheese chatting, let's get right into it. I will start with a longer Ray 5 10 watts. Now this laser retails for $319 and I think it's a fantastic laser for beginners. Uh, it is great at engraving. It has a very small or smaller than all the other lasers footprint. It is lightweight. You can do cutting and engraving up to like three to four millimeter. It cannot cut anything thicker and that is because it just does not have the power. It's only 10 watts. Uh, who is this laser great for? Like I said, it's great for a beginner if you, let's say, are interested in a laser but you don't want to invest a thousand or two thousand dollars because you don't even know if you would use it or if you like it. Well then, this is a great one because it's not that expensive and it does a really good job at, you know, engraving and um, also it's great for, let's say, you're a woodworker and you just want to engrave your logo on the back of your uh, whatever you made, then this is fantastic. If that's all you want it for, it will do a really, really good job without breaking the bank. When it comes to longer, longer has great customer service. Um, if you go into my longer 30 watt review, you will see one of my subscribers purchased one and had some issues with it. And then um, he updated his comment there and said the longer did send him a brand new laser to replace it. So I'm very happy to hear that they have a good customer service. Next, we'll talk about the longer 30 watts. It retails for $959. I think this is the best laser you can get for under $1,000. It has a solid frame, uh, a lot stronger than the Ray 5. The cable management was great. Uh, it does amazing engraving. It, I used it a lot when I got that one. I was using it for making box joints. I was cutting quarter inch hard maple and walnut and paduk and so on. And uh, in that video, I also show you which website I use that you can design your own boxes easily if you wanna design boxes for laser. And uh, it comes with air assist. And uh, I, I did all kinds of uh, testing with that one. I engraved even on the back of a mirror and made this nightlight. Longer 30 watts. Uh, it's kind of a jack of all trades. That's good. Everything it does, uh, nothing is bad about it. I don't have anything negative about it, but nothing was really amazing either. Um, so it's just really good laser all around. Now they also sent me the 40 watt laser, which retails for $1,249. I have not reviewed it yet, and um, I'm planning on reviewing it, but I didn't have time. I expect good things from it, but I can't say any more than that because I have not reviewed it. Now let's move to Creality 22 watt machine. It retails for $899. I think it's a great deal for it. It does good engraving. Um, I did a lot, tons of inlays with it and it's fantastic, fantastic laser for cutting. Creality, they got it really good when it comes to cutting materials. With the 22 watt laser, I was able to cut three quarter inch plywood and it took a few passes, but it was doable. It has the best cable management out of all of these lasers. It does color steel. Uh, engraving, so I engraved on steel and I was able to get all kinds of colors. It is really a good laser all around for 22 watts. 
And then moving into the Creality 40 watts, I reviewed this one recently, it retails for $1,359. It is the best laser for cutting. It cuts three quarter inch uh, hardwood easily. Uh, I was super, super impressed out of all the lasers I've ever reviewed. This one cuts the best, but, and this is the but, it just does not do a good job engraving. I do not like it for engraving. If you're looking for something just for cutting, I think this is fantastic. If you're planning on doing engraving a lot, well, I would not recommend this laser. Customer service when it comes to Creality. I've never um, had any problems with mine, so I didn't really have to contact them. But I did go into Facebook groups and Reddit and so on. And from what I saw about customer service, I was not so much impressed. It seemed like um, there's a little bit of disconnect there. And um, like I said, not my personal uh, experience with them. But from what I saw online, it seems like there's a little bit of... Uh, problems when it comes to customer service. Another laser that I currently have, and it's right here, it's the Algo Laser Delta. Now, I had really high hopes for this laser. They sent it to me a few months ago, and I, it came damaged. Uh, when I opened the box, well, first of all, the box was taped with all this crazy yellow tape. Um, I wasn't sure if somebody received it and returned it, and then I got it. I'm not sure what happened there, but when I opened the box and I installed the laser, when I turned it upside down to install the feet, two screws fell out. I don't know where from. One of them looks like the tightening belt screw, but the other one, I have no idea what it's from. I was not able to make this laser work for me, so I contacted customer service. They did cut back to me really quick and they told me, please try this and try that. I told them the laser is damaged, they claim it's not damaged, so I did everything they told me to and then messaged them back, sent them some videos, and then it took a while until they got back to me and then their response was kind of, oh, well, try this and try that. I tried it, it still didn't work, got back to them, waited a few more days or whatever, they got back to me, then they told me that my driver that I have is not good to delete the device from Lightburn, install this one, do this and that. I still couldn't make it work, I was getting very frustrated by that point. They offered to send me a new laser and um, I basically said, no, I already wasted so much time on this laser. I just wanted to be done with it. It's all packed. I am waiting for them to send me a return label and I have not got it yet. I keep waiting and waiting and um, it's not a laser that I paid money for. They send it to me free for review, but um, I just can't send it back. They won't send me the return label, so that's that about it. It could be the most amazing laser. I would not know, and I'm not going to review that on this channel. Next, I'm going to move to X-Tool. And we'll talk about the X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watts. And this one retails for $1,199. So it's a little bit more expensive when it comes to 22 watt lasers. But this laser, let me just tell you, it does the best engraving I have ever seen. That's kind of, I've never seen a laser that does such a good engraving. Out of all the machines I have, this one, the, the best engraving. And I've watched other reviews of other lasers that I have not used on, on YouTube. And I've never seen an engraving like the X-Tool um, D1 Pro. So if you're buying a laser just for engraving, I think this one will be the best choice. It does great with cutting, not as good as Creality, but really good for a 20 watt. Um, there are a few things I didn't like about this laser because you know I'm being nitpicky, so I wanna be critical. Uh, for the money, being the most expensive 20 watt laser, it did not come with air assist, so that for me was a disappointment. Air assist does not cost a lot of money. They should have included that for the price that they have on it. So that was one complaint I had. And then my biggest complaint with the x D1 Pro is the exposed electronic board. That made me nervous. I do not like to see that exposed electronic board and my woodworking shop that is full of dust and so on. Now, from looking online, I have not seen anybody complain about it. Nobody had any problems with it. Nobody started a fire with it. So I don't know how big of a problem it is, but I wish they did not have exposed electronic board. 
Now let's talk, let's talk about Xtool S1. This one retails for $2,199. So it's the most expensive out of all the lasers. If you guys have been with me on this channel for a little bit, then you will know this is my favorite laser. And I liked it so much, I actually designated a permanent spot for this laser into my shop. I even went ahead and drilled a hole into my garage door so I can have an exhaust to send the fumes outside my shop. This laser is amazing, it is fully enclosed, it does a superb engraving, just as good as the Xtool D1 Pro, if not better. And I have two examples here, you guys, if you've been on this channel, you've seen these boxes many times, but I did this with this laser. And you can see, even though it's 40 watts, it gives so much detail. Look at all that tiny detail. And I did it all with this laser, the tulips too, you get this 3D, beautiful, beautiful effect. So it's fantastic when it comes to engraving. And it doesn't just do engraving, it's good for cutting too. 40 watts, it can cut pretty much anything. Now, the one thing that sold me for this laser is the fact that it's fully enclosed. And I've used enclosures for other diode lasers before, and I'm telling you, it is not the same. Those enclosures that are tent-like, they do work, they do, um, you know, contain and remove the smoke and fumes, but they don't do it 100%. Your shop will still smell, you will still get fumes. Um, they are just tent-like, they're sitting on top of your laser, so there are cracks and stuff all around it and holes where your cables come off from. So it's never gonna work as good as a fully enclosed diode laser. Xtool S1, 40 watts is the only 40 watt laser right now that is fully enclosed. No other company has a 40 watt. There are other fully enclosed lasers, but they're usually 10 and 20 watt lasers. So this one, you get so much power, fully enclosed, amazing engravings. And this is why I'm awarding the Xtool S1 the best diode laser in 2023. Now, what are the things I don't like about this laser? Because no laser is perfect, so we need to talk about the, you know, where it's struggling. Wait, this thing is not light. Uh, it's not something you're picking up and moving around the shop or tuck it into a drawer or hang it on your wall as you could with uh, open frame diode lasers. Those things are light, you can hang them on the wall, you can move them around, you can take them away when you don't need them. This thing is heavy. Now, when I say heavy, I don't mean too heavy. I was able to lift it by myself when I opened the box and assemble it and so on. I even had to climb on top of my workbench to get it out of the box. So you can lift it, but it's not as light as the other ones. Another negative of this laser is the fact that it's not fully compatible with Lightburn. It works great with Lightburn. I will make some videos showing how to use it with Lightburn, but it's not fully compatible. You are losing a couple of key features. Now, I know some of you guys are worried to get the S1 because of its size. It looks massive when you look at it. But let me show you something that I think is going to surprise you. What I have in here, this is the tent looking cover for longer. And uh, pretty much all the covers for the you know, open frame diode lasers, they're almost the same size. So this one, it measures 28 by 28 inches. So if you think a smaller diode lasers, it's smaller than the S1. Well, if you buy the cover to cover it, it becomes 28 by 28. Now let's measure the S1. Now the S1, it is 30 inches on in length. So it's just longer by two inches, but it's only 22 inches on width. So quite a lot smaller than the 28. And it is, only seven and a quarter inches tall, where the longer it's almost 14 inches tall. So, so even though the S1 looks a lot bigger than the other ones, if you put a cover on the other lasers, they're actually gonna have a bigger footprint than the S1. So think about that before you purchase your next laser. Now the price on the S1 is 2199 which is the most expensive out of the other lasers, but I think it's worth it at least for me. They also have a 20 watt laser and that one retails for $1,700. And uh, it sounds expensive when you think $1,700 for the 20 watt S1, 
But I did the math, and if you buy, the, for example, the D1 Pro, that one it's almost uh, $1,200, but it does not come with Air Assist or Enclosure. And if you buy the Air Assist for the D1 Pro, that will be $139, and then if you buy Enclosure, it's $180. So in the end, you end up with over $1,500 for the D1 Pro with the air assistant enclosure, which if you buy the S120 watt is $1,700, so only less than $200 uh, more, but you get way better quality um, enclosure and air assist and just better quality laser altogether. So please consider that if you were considering on getting a D1 Pro, do the math, see what you're getting, and then you know consider if the S1 might be the better deal for you. Now, I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I'll see you in my next video.